I traded since Roberto. It's July 29th, Monday. And this is an update on the trades that were taken during the New York session and slash trade signals. There are two probably the best trade setups that I've found so far, both on a weekly chart. First one, Euro New Zealand dollar. And the second one is New Zealand Swiss. So let's go over these trade setups. Clearly divergent setup on the weekly chart and it's confirmed on the monthly chart. This is a monthly chart and what I was looking for is the two lines on MACD. If you look on, on the bottom here, these two lines on MACD are crossing to the downside. That's the confirmation for the weekly divergent setup, number one. So uh, typically what happens is that a swing point is broken then this then there's an initial retracement and the retracement I think is probably completed hits 50 percent retracement level and created this false break let me just make this a little bigger there you go so now the markets is turning around and heading south we have a color change candle on the weekly chart let's look on the week daily chart see what we find price is below the central pivot point which is very important and if we throw in a 21 moving average line <clears throat> on the daily chart it doesn't help us but if we look on the four hour chart price is below the 21 moving average line and also below the one hour 21 moving average line and it continues to go south so any retracement all we're going to do is sell because this trade is based on the weekly chart which is a nice divergence and it's very rare that you see divergence setups on a weekly chart. It's maybe what three times a year let me see the last one we had back in uh, August a year ago and that was a nice trade setup look we same thing we have swing points that are lower wave patterns that are higher hence divergence so the market went up now we have a divergence setup going in the opposite direction. We have wave patterns are lower, swing points are higher, hence divergence. That's the New Zealand Swiss. Now, Euro New Zealand dollar, we have the opposite. We've got wave patterns that are lower or equal in length, but wave patterns that are higher, hence divergence. Then we go to the monthly chart to confirm that trade and there it is. The, the monthly two moving average lines are headed north. And that's what we needed for confirmation. Okay. Uh, the other trade setups are Swiss yen. We have a double top on a daily chart. And notice that the wave patterns are going lower, hence divergence. But we don't have confirmation on the daily chart yet. The two lines on the daily chart have to cross and go to the downside so we don't have that. However, on the four hour chart we have divergence. We have wave patterns going lower and price action going higher. So it actually is supporting the daily. So if we look at the four hour chart. The four hour chart is confirmed by the daily chart. So this probably will continue to head south to about 103.90 area. So I'm going to keep a watch on that. Any retracement, I'd be looking to sell. And that's it. I think we don't have gold. Gold was the last one. Okay. Let me just get rid of these lines. We've got... This is the daily chart. Again, here's a divergent setup on gold. We've got swing patterns that are lower, but the wave patterns that match up with the swing points are what? They're going higher, correct? Here's a swing point, or rather a wave pattern, and here's the other wave pattern that is lower, but this one's higher, hence divergence, price went up. Now it's a bit overbought at these levels, so what I'm going to do is I'll draw the swing a fib from the swing low to the swing high. These levels are the areas that I'd, I'd like for the market to come back down to so we can buy it. 
anywhere from 1263 to 1285 would be a great area to buy. And I think that's it. That's all we have. Um, pound dollar, we took that trade. I'm still in short on this pair. And I doubt if it's going to go up any higher. That 154 area is so strong of a resistance level. It would have to break 154.20 if the market's going to go up any higher. And below 153.50 is the, which is around right here. That was a strong support level that was finally broken and the next stop would be 152.90. So that's it for the tutorial. See everyone in the trade room tomorrow and have a good week trading guys.